Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit Blitz. Okay, so the player base is moving, or more accurately, evolving. And we're seeing more and more lower win rate players in our teams. Uh, this is perfectly normal, I think, because the player base isn't just filled with super duper unicorns. And it's pretty much common sense to expect to have players with less skill than you, just that it's perfectly logical that the other team may have better players than you. But, you know, we generally don't look at it that way. Another, more famous Blitz YouTuber, recently did a video about worst team ever, and I watched that video with interest. And to be honest, I found quite a bit wrong with it. Firstly, the YouTuber in question has over 60 odd thousand battles on their belt, and a very healthy win rate, 60% plus, which actually makes them a very good and very experienced and well above average player. The team around them, however, hardly broke 3,000 battles and had substantially lower win rates, thus a very inexperienced team indeed. The video then went on to basically point out the faults, with comedic overtones, of the players in the team. However, I noticed that at no point did the more experienced and better player offer any sort of strategic advice, any pointers, or give any direction to the team around them. They merely assumed that the players would do what they themselves would do in a similar situation. And when they didn't, it allowed for the faults and the bad play of those players to be pointed out. And, well, therein lies one of the game's biggest issues. All of us, myself included, assume far too much. We assume everybody has the same or better skills. We assume they have equal or more experience. We assume they are mind readers and that they can predict what we would expect of them. We assume they play the game for the same reasons we play the game. In fact, we generally assume so much that when our assumptions don't pan out, then we berate the teams and the players, calling them noobs and other such things. Now I freely admit, I myself personally have issues with low experienced players rushing the tears. But that's because common sense and logic tells me they don't have enough knowledge, not necessarily skill, to be totally effective. Yeah, of course they all win battles up there, but that's more luck than anything else. However, I rarely have an issue with low win rate players. Some argue that's because my win rate itself is low, which is a fair point indeed. But, and here is the important thing, I learned long ago that no matter how good you think you are, there is always somebody out there better than you. Meaning, by default, there must be somebody worse than you. Kind of makes sense and stands to reason, yeah? Most of us don't like the fact we get potato teams, but that leads to two things over time. Either we move to a skill-based MM, which would be a total disaster, and also, who gets to decide that cutoff point? I mean, somebody said to me yesterday, I only like playing against those with equal or better skills, meaning that in that particular player's eyes, anybody below their current win rate should be placed in a different MM. Now, let's take that to its conclusion. Let's say his win rate is 60%. That would mean they would not face a vast majority of the player base. And as such, over time, they themselves would cease to be 60%. They would actually go lower, meaning that person's MM cube would then change. And they would then face the players they were so eager to avoid. Kind of fits the object somewhat. Not only that, the other thing that it leads to is basically a massive divide in the community and the player base, something that you really need to avoid. You have to remember that in order to get that 60% win rate, you actually need two things yourself. Skill, of course, that stands to reason, but also players not as skilled as you. I mean, that kind of makes sense. You need the bad players in order to turn them over with your own superior skills in order to get a better win rate yourself. Yes, of course, there are those amongst us who are naturally gifted. I mean, most of the end game team with their 70% plus win rates gained over a lot of battles are a case in point. But these are the exception, not the rule. 
Let's look at it a different way. There are literally millions of kids playing football all over the world. Yet none of them, well, maybe one or two, will really will never be the next Messi or Ronaldo. The odds of achieving the dizzy heights of such star power is incredibly low indeed. Yet we seem to think that in this game, it's the other's player's fault that we fail to achieve those highs, which is just another excuse to disregard our own failure. We all have a basic natural skill level. Yes, it can be improved over time and with practice, and obviously over time means experience, but it doesn't happen instantly, and it will certainly take effort from the vast majority of us. The exception being those special few who have a much higher natural skill level already. Yet even they still build on them, I can guarantee you that. Only the other day I heard his royal fatness say, when asked a question on how he managed to be such a good player, that it literally took him hours of practice. That he may have a higher skill level than the, than the vast majority of the skill, than the base naturally, he himself admits he still works hard to improve himself. So what's the basic message I'm trying to push here? Wow, it's pretty simple, really. If we, as a community and as a player, really want to improve not only ourselves and our own gameplay, but the player base as a whole, then we need to start educating rather than belittling. Those amongst us who are the good players need to communicate better with the teams they are in and not instantly assume everybody knows what they're doing. The not so good players, however, also need to play an active role here. They need to start listening. They need to have the desire themselves to get better and be prepared to put in the effort to watch and learn. I mean, it's not like there isn't any resources on YouTube or stuff that doesn't try to give some tips and stuff. We YouTubers also need to start educating better, stop demonizing teams for being less able than ourselves and try to point them in the right direction. Only recently I watched a Busker video that tries to send this message out, with Busker being critical of his own gameplay, not just those of his team. If we as a community really want to have better teams and a better experience, then we ourselves also need to do our part and stop expecting others to do it for us. We have to stop berating and being toxic to those players we consider less able than us and instead try to help them and try to educate them. Of course, I'm not so stupid as to believe that everyone will embrace such things with open arms, but clearly there must be a desire to improve in the vast majority of the player base, or else certain YouTubers wouldn't have so many bloody subscribers. Me, myself, well, I've actually never met anybody, well, certainly not anybody who really has a desire to improve, to ever refuse help from somebody who is more experienced and better than themselves. In fact, most would willingly accept such help and direction. So, the next time you roll out, drop all those assumptions and use your skill, your knowledge and your experience to help your fellow teammates do what they can to succeed in the battle. You may not win, but at least you would have tried your best. And that is all anybody can ever ask. There is no point berating your teammates if they have tried their best, because their best may not be the same as your best. So ask yourself the question first, have you really done your best for your team? I know personally from my own experience, the answer to that is generally no. I could have done better. Anyway, I've been Fujit. By all means, comment and everything below. And remember guys, it's just a game. Get out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.